Hey everyone, Smapix here and I'm back with another episode of a dollar to a knife challenge. But before starting, I just want to let you know that most of you watching my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. So do press that red button and the notification bell for future CSGO trade ups and trading videos. Also, I'm giving away this Desert Eagle light rail in field tested conditions. So do join our Discord server to participate in the giveaway. This is going to be the fifth video of the series and by the end of our last video we had about $28.53 and two spectrum skins that we needed for M4A1's decimator trade up. Do check it out, I would give the video link in the description. Now I would be starting this video with our main trade up only that is the Prisma 2 minimal wear trade up. For this you need 6 field tested from Prisma 2 case and 4 minimal wares from spectrum case. This trade up would cost you about a dollar. Now many of you guys have recently commented that it is nearly impossible to find these floats on market which is true also all these trade ups are pre-recorded but i have some tips for you guys to do this trade up right now one use five field tested prisma 2 skins instead of six and five minimal wear spectrum skins two use buy orders now you can get extremely low floats using buy orders so use those and mix it with some high floats from the marketplace if you get the floats that are not needed then sell it off at a bit higher price and try to lower down the total cost of the trade-up by this the total cost won't exceed a dollar and 20 cents now let's have a look of what we got doing this trade-up multiple times for the first 5 trade ups I got P2K Acid Edged, M249 Emerald Poison Dart, Sword of Apocalypto, Galil Air Crimson Tsunami in minimal wear condition that we are going to keep for our trade up and another P2K Acid Edged. For the next 5 trade ups we got another Sword of Apocalypto, then SG Darkwing which is some nice profit. UMP Scaffold which is a loss of 30 cents and then 2 Sword of Apocalyptos in a row. Moving on to our next 5 trade ups, I got a SCAR 20 Enforcer, then 2 SG Darkwings in a row making us a dollar, Galil Air Crimson Tsunami which we are going to keep for our classified spectrum trade up and a Sword of Apocalypto. For the last 6 minimal wear Prisma 2 trade ups, we got UMP Scaffold, P2K Acid Edged, another scaffold then two spectrum trade up inputs and a sword of apocalypto so after these 21 trade ups we have a balance of $29.13 in addition to that we have six spectrum skins that are very low floats now we can either sell it for a bit higher price or buy four more spectrum skins and do a decimator trade up i will be buying four spectrum inputs for $2.88 that is we have a balance of $26.25 now and a trade up which can increase our total balance by $13. Now moving on to our spectrum classified trade up. For this we need 10 spectrum minimal wear restricted skins. Now for this the float should be below 0.082 for all the factory new outcomes. We got some of the best floats from the trade ups we did earlier so we just need 4 more skins to complete this trade up and you have to find the floats below 0.09 which is not that hard. You can use buy orders or just snipe for these floats. For the outcomes you can get M4A1's decimator which would increase the inventory is worth by $13. Fever Dream will add $9 and CZ Ziang Liu will add almost $7.90. Let's line up all our skins and see what we can get. I really hope we get what we want. So let's go in 3, 2, 1. Oh, the CZ Ziang Liu. It adds $7.90 to our inventory and also we complete the Spectrum Classified collection. We had an op Fever Dream, M4A1 as Decimator and now we have Facty New CZ Ziang Liu, which are pretty cool play skins to be honest. You can actually get some cool play skins and investment skins with a dollar if not a knife. This completes our Spectrum set and now our inventory's worth is $34.50 of which I have 3 Facty New Classified skins and $6.50 team balance. I will be using the balance to do more trade up. Surely I will be selling one of these skins to get some extra balance for the trade ups in near future. Now as we have about $6 team balance I would be doing another spectrum trade up but this time we will use 10 field tested spectrum skins and the average float should be below 0.176 for all the minimal wear outcomes. Now let's look at what we can get. I mean you know but still. All the outcomes will be in minimal wear condition. With M4A1 as decimator you will make about a dollar. With Op Fever Dream you will make 40 cents and the CZ Ziang Liu in minimal wear condition is a loss of 30 cents after steam tax. There are many better trade ups at this price but I decided to go with it because I felt a bit lazy and was able to find the floats. So let's go in 3, 2 and 1. 
all right of fever dream and it is about 40 cents profit we are really doing good for this series and i hope we end up with huge profit i will be doing one more trade up for this video and that's it also i have given all the trade up links in the description so just open the links and manipulate your floats for the last trade up i will be going to use six stat track field tested prisma 2 skins and four stat track minimal wear spectrum skins it is just the stat track version of our first trade up you know everything about this one like keeping the float below 0.15 using five field tested instead of six if you are unable to find the floats and blah 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 but this time the prisma 2 outcomes are going to be more profitable and the return percentage is about 30 percent so it is also a good trade-up to spam sg darkwing and ssg fever dream will give you over two dollars and fifty cents profit and other prisma 2 outcomes will be more than a dollar profit and all the other spectrum skins will be a loss of about 80 cents except the m249 emerald poison dart which comes in fact in your condition this is going to be our last trade-up for this video and i just hope we get over 35 dollars inventory value let's line up our skins and let's go in three two and one mac 10 last dive not the worst outcome as it still comes in 0.072 float but it is still a loss of 70 cents after all these trade-offs we end up with 33 dollars and 85 cents which is good as we started with 28 dollars so this is it for today guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more csgo trading content i hope you all are doing fine and thank you for all the support check trade up spy using my link in the description and you will get two free days with a premium also don't forget to join our discord to enter the giveaway that's that peace out